Mmm, pie. What kind of pie is it? Oh, blackberry is my favorite. Um, aren't you supposed to put the filling in the pie before you bake it? <laughs> Dear Tim and Moby, how can I remember the order of operations? From Anthony. Well, as Moby can tell you, doing math is a lot like baking. You can't just do the operations in any old order. Let's take a look at a string of operations. The items inside parentheses come first in the order of operations. You do the stuff inside the parentheses before anything else. Next come the exponents. 3 squared is 9. Multiplication and division are next. You work those from left to right. And addition and subtraction come in last from left to right. And we're done. Well, if we ignore the order of operations, there's no telling what we'd end up with. The order of operations ensures that everybody ends up with the same correct answer. Hey, good question. When you come across multiple operations inside parentheses, you do those in the correct order, too. Then you do the stuff outside. So, once again, parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication and division, and finally addition and subtraction. Well, there are easier ways to remember this. Like saying, please, excuse, my, dear, Aunt Sally. Stop it. You're confusing people. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally.